Welcome to Metro Vancouver Close-Up, your look at local actions that are advancing sustainability. Metro Vancouver's goal is to increase recycling to 80% by 2020. And by rethinking what we call waste, that goal comes in sight. Port Moody Arts Centre is rethinking fashion by including a recycling category in its world-famous wearable art show. Good evening, everybody. And thank you all for coming. This is exciting. A crowd gathered recently at the Port Moody Arts Centre to celebrate the opening of a unique exhibit featuring wearable art. The exhibit included 54 pieces from artists as far away as Australia. Most of the dresses and accessories are made from recycled materials. This dress, for instance, is made of black wrap, a metal foil commonly used by electricians in the film industry. We had an excess of black wrap from a film that we had just shot at our house and I thought, I think I can do something with this. I started to make circular shapes, made them into little triangles and then added them together and I thought, okay, I could make some sort of form out of this. The wearable art contest is the brainchild of Anne Kitching, who started what's now become a signature event at the Port Moody Art Centre, with prizes awarded in four categories, including recycling. Throughout the world, we're trying to get everything recycled. And so we always have recycling in. I think that a lot of what you see here tonight may be labelled as nature, but in actual fact is recycling because most of the materials that we use have been used for something else. The recycling part is very important. Obviously all that stuff would have just gone in the landfill and to be able to reuse it again for a piece of art is, is great. $7,500 in prize money was handed out, including a $750 award for the best student entry, an amount that was sponsored by the City of Port Moody. It brings together what we believe in in Port Moody, which is the arts and our outstanding uh, recycling programs and our sustainability programs. So, uh, yeah, being able to tie those two things together in the City of the Arts we think is great. The contest included a live fashion show where arts patrons were able to see these pieces come to life modeled by local dancers. I think it really does get people thinking generally about how we can do things differently than just uh, piling up the trash. 